Hello and a warm welcome to our Style Spy session. I'm Claire German, Managing Director of the Design Centre. In this exciting format, we're keeping our community engaged and inspired wherever they are. We're bringing together designers, industry insiders and media hosts for some great conversations online. And by the power of technology, I'm delighted to introduce two talented people in my team with a finger on the style pulse. Gabrielle Gravanovich is the personal shopper here at the Design Centre and creative director Arabella McNee is a top class stylist. They have been through all the latest collections from the 120 showrooms with a fine tooth comb. Let's hear what they have to say about how they can be used in our homes. And thank you for watching and enjoy. Thank you. Hi, Arabella. It's lovely to see you again. And you, Gabby, how are you? I'm really good, thanks. And I'm so excited to be here having another chat about all these amazing mood boards that you've put together for London Design Week 2020. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't think we were ever going to get to this stage, but actually looks like we're going to come out of lockdown and um, and uh, and all get back to normal, which is just so brilliant, isn't it? It's so lovely, so, it's lovely. so lovely. And there's some really brilliant, brilliant new collections, which we're going to have a look at some of. I know. So let's so let's do it. So basically, the way that you've done these this new um, the, this season's collections this time around is by room. Um, and so I thought it would be great if we just pulled out a few of the rooms that you've been working on and made beautiful mood boards from with the new season's collections and maybe just talk through some of our favourite pieces. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's do that. Um, okay, so why don't we start with the library? Yeah. Um, now, there are so many great things on there, but obviously we don't want to um, pull everything out. So, so let's just pull out your favourite pieces. Well, this, this was one of my favourite um, uh, room sets to do. It was just uh, full of pattern and colour and uh, layering different textures, like, it's, um, like someone's collected treasured things over a number of years. And the colour palette is quite simple. But everything seems to work together and uh, it doesn't really follow any rules, but I just love it because of all the texture and detail in it. Oh, gosh, I, I could not agree more. Um, and I can imagine sort of a bookshelf in the back that's filled with books. Um, one of the things that you've noticed um, are it's one of the things I love about this room is that it's quite whimsical, isn't it? You've got lots of sort of you've pulled out lots of fun things um, like, for example, the. Um, uh, the the rubelli that beautiful um, piece of rubelli um, kabar fabric yeah. fabric excuse me that's it so it's the one with the donkey is is the motif that um, you can see it's rough in the center of the picture it's based on um, well, it's an illustration that's been done around the fairy tale of Puss in Boots and it's there's so much to look at on this fabric. Uh, you know, there's animals, obviously, there's the cat. It's just brilliant. And it's, it's a bit of a shame, actually, that we, we couldn't have um, a huge piece. I think if anyone wants to see it, it's really worth coming into the design centre and seeing the full piece because it is so much fun, isn't it? It really is. And it landed on my, uh, on my desk in the dark days of January. Um, and it just made me smile. I it love is. Love it. Love it. Love it. it. It's so much fun. And speaking of dark days of January, I, I believe also they do it. Um, this is the yellow one that's called Bonjour, but they also do um, a blue version, um, which is called Bonne Nuit, which I think is really sweet. And I could, I could completely see that piece of fabric um, being used in a children's bedroom or in a sunroom or you know, in a conservatory or something, something where someone just wants to have a bit of fun. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Um, and then speaking of all things animal, we have the ubiquitous um, King Cheetah fabric from Clarence House. Yes, well, animal is, is something that never really goes out of uh, fashion. Mm. Um, but particularly, I think there's been more and more of it appearing over the last couple of years. I just love it. And it had to go somewhere. And this was the room to put it in. Yes. Um, Every room, every room needs a bit of animal print, doesn't every it? Every room needs a bit of animal. If you look at just as an aside, behind the donkey fabric, there's a wool covering um, which is available at Miles, uh, Alexandre Lamont plus Miles, which is tortoise shell. It's painted to look like tortoise shell. So it, it's just layering um, 
diff different patterns and different textures together. Yeah, and actually, you know, in terms of, I think sometimes people get a bit scared of, or, or don't know what to do with, with a lot of animal print. And, and I think actually, you can, if you're brave enough and bold enough, you can actually really go for it and do a full statement piece, um, like a full sofa or something in a piece of animal uh, print. Or you can you can mix and match. So you could put zebras on tigers and cheetahs on leopards and you know things like that if you were really you know bold and wanted to go for it. Yeah. Or if you know if that's not your thing, you could you can you know just make a cushion um, or a throw. Um, you know I think it, it has been around forever and um, and but it just it never ever goes out of fashion. It reminds me actually Arabella of um, Madeline Castagne and she did wall to wall leopard print and she said um, be audacious but do it with taste and I love that and that every time I see that print it reminds me of her. Yeah. Um, the other thing that is really fun here moving away from our animals is the um, applique, the sun applique in, in the bottom right hand corner, which wh why have you chosen that? Bottom left on my screen, Gabby. Bottom left. Left. <laughs> uh, I, I chose it just because I love it. I love it. And you and it's another one of those pieces you have to see in the flesh, don't you? Because it's all hand beaded. It is. So I've got a piece here. Well, I've got one of them here, actually, um, which is so you can just see that it's got the beads as well as the embroidery. I mean, what's not to love about something like that? Stick it on a cushion, put it on the back of a chair. To be honest, I'd put it on the back of a jacket or yeah. something. It's just a really, really lovely unique piece um and that's from Schumacher really and lovely and but I I like your first idea I think if you put that on top of um sort of a deep orange velvet and and put it on the back of a bar stool for example I think that yeah would look absolutely fantastic um moving on the other thing that um you've chosen is the Gresham stool from David Seafried with the bamboo legs yeah um i think where is it it's on the yellow cut velvet fabric, fabric. So center yeah. right of the image and again you know we look at bamboo was really made a comeback hasn't it um you know i think we always used to associate sort of our, our parents 1970s living rooms with a bit of bamboo um and it was sort of was a, a bit too overused and was a bit kitchen and, and um slightly unfashionable as as the decades went on but it's it's really made a comeback hasn't it it really has and and kind of other natural textures as well which we'll get on to but there's there's definitely a move towards that though i have to say you can also have that as, as painted in any color you like those bamboo legs so it doesn't have to be natural um and we're going to have it on display um with bright orange legs um, oh wow fab. yes what is that during london design week it is it's going to be on display in the avenue as part of the designer loves installation oh fantastic well we can't wait i hope everyone's um booked up and got their tickets to come to that um then what else are we going to talk about we're going to talk about um a piece that is 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 quite classical but has a modern twist which is the the paolo wall light um Yes, which what do you love about that? I love the fact that it's classically it would just be brass, but he's um, he's mixed the the brass with the leather texture, and I just think it's really um, it's really striking. It's really contemporary looking. Um, and, I agree. Uh, and I just love the combination of materials. And I guess does he do that in lots of different um, metal finishes and leathers? I think he does it in different colours of leathers, in different styles of, of, uh, of lamp as well. Um, I think they are all on brass, but I don't, you'll have to go and see. Yeah, okay, well, we can check that out. Um, and again, you know, in terms of it's, you know, a super easy piece to use, isn't it? Because you could have it in um, as a wall light in a kitchen, in an office, you know, it's because it's so classical, it could just, it could be anywhere. Yes, um, really, really useful piece. And then just briefly, I thought we should 
touch on the um, the knob, the the pull grip um, from the Nance company at the bottom. Yes. Why did you choose that? I I chose those because they're really simple. They look incredibly tactile. Um, I love the sort of fluid movement of them, particularly in the um, in the door uh, the door uh, pull. Um, I did, they're just really simple, classic, timeless pieces. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then um, to finish with on this um, on this scheme, we're going to go to our favourite piece, which I have to agree with you. This is you know. This is my favourite piece on the board, which is that amazing Clarence House um, Arusha fabric in the bottom right-hand corner. Yes, again, crewel work is, is another um, traditional technique that has been gaining momentum again more and more in fashion. But I love this because it's completely whimsical. It's, um, it's, like, a, it's like a beach holiday on a piece of fabric. So you've got palm trees and pineapples and animals and- um, Yeah, and dancing donkey. <laughs> yeah, and an amazing um, kind of um, old school, huge resort hotel. Um, it's just joyful and we haven't been traveling and I just, I can't wait to go somewhere that looks just like that. Yes, I agree, I'm with you. I'm coming to, to eat pineapples under palm trees. Sounds amazing. <laughs> Um, okay, we're going to move on to our next, um, or your next scheme, um, which was a contemporary living room. Yes, so this follows on quite nicely from the cruel work. Yes. Um, it's a scheme that's full of embellishment. So it's got a really, really simple colour palette in um, contrast to the one that we've just seen. It's a very calm palette. Um, it's all sands and O'Donnells and um, off-whites. Um, but a lot of the fabrics, although they're, they're quite um, simple in colour, are very textured. Um, there's lots of circles uh, that repeat throughout the scheme. Um, and, uh, and, I, and I just love this. I yes. Love for its simplicity and its elegance. And it's elegant and it's tactile, isn't it? You feel like you want to run your hands over a lot of it. Yeah, yeah beautiful embroidery and even the marble table is you know it has a really organic shape and and yeah I know I know what you mean it's very it's a very calming scheme um we're just going to pull out a couple of pieces on this scheme um one of them is the Alberto fabric from Pierre Frey which is the in the top right hand corner yeah which is a really beautiful um satin uh ground with a the embroidery on that is almost like a um it's like a cord, it's almost like a rope, quite sort of baskety, and it's got this incredible linear uh, design of, of, of kind of circles and squares, like, like hanging jewellery almost. Yeah, I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I've also noticed that they do that in um, a really striking red on red and a brown on orange. Um, and, and the crew on white, which is sort of probably more suited to this scheme. But yeah, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, and that, of course, is sitting on top of um, this, the Sandy Lane fabric by Travis at, at Zimmerman Road. Yeah. Um, which again, I know you chose it because it's called Sandy Lane and we all wish we were there at the moment. <laughs> um, but that is beautiful, that one as well, isn't it? It is. And again, it's circles and... Um, uh, circles and ellipses and it's it's just the most beautiful thing i'm going to hold a piece up here so hopefully you can see the as well as just the embroidery there's the rope embroidered on the top yes and that they they created almost like a completely new technique in order to achieve this i think it's amazing and i love it so much actually that um i have used it for my personal shopping pop-up um, which I will be manning throughout London Design Week as well. But I've used it in the pink. Um, it's sort of a dusty pink and it's beautiful as I'm hoping everyone that passes into the Design Centre will pass by and see me and, and you'll see it, a big piece of it there. Um, then you've also got a piece on you of the, um, the Nobilist fabric. Yes, now this is incredible. I, I, I'd wear this as a piece of clothing. Oh. See all the detail on that. It's stunning. It's really, really amazing. So it's rope 
and cording and ribbon embroidered. Um, and the design is inspired by cliffs. So oh. it, it's a very sort of natural um, and cream, but yes, it's, it's, it's the seaside. Again, travel. We're all yeah. about travel. It's all about travel. And, and interestingly, it's, um, you know, again, that we're, we're seeing so much um, sort of what looks like hand woven or cords, or there's just, there's, there's more of that than ever before, I feel. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think lockdown designers have used their imagination and really, really, um, the, the collections are amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, no, I think so too. Um, what else is, uh, anything else of note on this board before we move on? Because I don't want us to run out of time. Is there anything else you wanted to specifically pull out? The, the tinsel carpet. So um, right in the center is yes. the, the carpet, which is from Jacaranda, which is made from tensel, uh, which is um, a, a renewable fiber that's from pulped eucalyptus. Yeah, um, and silky smooth underfoot um, and then just to really sort of note as the um, all the rounded shapes and the curves so the console as you said from toll guard um, the round table virginia white from miles um, the green armchair from turi uh, they've all got really lovely um, curves very few hard edges in this yeah beautiful i love it it's so it's so it's so organic oh and um, and the natural paints from Edward Bulmer as well. Of course, of course, which are, oh, yeah, Edward Bulmer and also from Zofni, um, uh, which are all sort of very, very high, co exceptional quality, aren't they? And they're all made with natural pigments and minerals um, and are available um, at the yes. design centre through Tissu de Yes, yes, the Edward uh, Which people might, might not know. Yeah. Um, okay, sh should we move on then to our, uh, we're going to do the dining room next, um, yeah. which, which again, I love because you've used, it's it's very sort of abstract and it's and it's more strong shapes and it's an, another bold colour palette. Um, let's start by looking at the, um, the rug in the bottom right hand corner, which is by Esty. Yes, so this... It, an incredibly striking piece and uh, that's one of the linchpins of, of this scheme. Um, it's based on an, an art piece um, by artist whose name I've forgotten, um, but it's, it's just fantastic and it's all the triangles um, and the kaleidoscope which I could then see that sort of style coming through with the um, cut velvets from Harlequin, a piece by uh, um, Romo Black, but more importantly, then seeing that created um, or um, uh, I can't think of the word um, reflected in the uh, the fabric from Rubelli, which is right in the centre. Oh, with the houses. It's actually it's a cityscape from the uh, Italian island of Burano, which is um, in the uh, Venice Lagoon. And it is all brightly coloured uh, painted houses, and uh, and this again travel, um, very yeah. inspiring. And I just love how you can have something as kind of artistic as that fits so well in with some really strong geometric shapes. Yes, no, I agree. Um, it's Gianluca Francesi who was the um, artist who inspired that rug, and 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 again, and I say this for a lot of you know things that you've selected. Um, this image actually doesn't do that rug justice. You really have to see it in the flesh because it is it is striking, as you said. It's absolutely beautiful, and I could I can imagine I could imagine it underneath um, a round glass table, um, for example. So you you know from the glass table you could see through um, to the beautiful yeah. design on the bottom, or yeah. also you know maybe um, in the middle of circular sofas with a yeah. glass table in the middle something like that because it's not a piece that you want to cover up no. um, it really it really has to sing on its own doesn't it yeah um the, the other thing i was going to say was um just a, a, a piece of note only because it it is I, I think it's beautiful is is that um is that director's chair yes again from turi and um but it, it's it's 
the shape of it works so well with all our with all our angles and our triangles it was just perfect for that yeah. it's, it's so sleek um it's like one of those wonderful river boats that, that it, pushes around exactly that's you know what that's exactly what it reminds me of a beautiful yeah. hand polished river boat and what what um people might not be able to see is from this image is that um that this that what looks like a stripe down the back and along the bottom um of the leg is actually a brass inlay isn't it yes and and they also do it in white and they do it in um a darker wood which i think is is uh, both equally as beautiful but but that for me is the riva boat it's the italian riviera it's again coming back to travel yeah. um but yeah and then um any is there anything else there that we'd like to pull out maybe maybe the uh, the except the accessories at the bottom because i think a lot of people don't realize that the, the design center actually has um, an amazing selection of accessories from you know cutlery and you know as we can see here um, yeah. so this is this is a range of uh, tableware by a dutch designer called martin bass mm -hmm. and um it's just really strong sculptural shapes uh and it was just perfect for this scheme um, it is perfect and it sort of it has it's it's it looks quite organic it's it's perfect in there yes yes and um, so that's from Tolgard, if I didn't say that. And then the 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 uh, the really simple, very sleek um, draw pulls um, from Turnstile. Yes. Got quite a, a, a kind of a shallow profile, but they're just uh, they're, they're discreet, but very very elegant. But again, they, I, I feel like they have an organic form because yeah. when if you look at them sort of straight on, especially if you looked at a, a longer handle you know it, it almost looks like a crashing wave just yeah. coming around yeah um and speaking of crashing waves i think we now need to go to your outdoor scheme yeah um which again features just so many amazing things and i think you know outdoor now is so important um where i think people are paying a lot more attention to their gardens because their their outdoor space has actually just become sort of an ec an extra room in their house um and you know, people are spending a lot more money on um, on making sure that their outdoor space is as beautiful as their indoor space. Exactly, exactly. And I think it's it's really fantastic to see furniture that, to be honest, you'd have inside. Um, it's so well designed. And the fabric, right? Yeah, and the fabrics. And the fabrics. Um, and again, I think I'd, I've never, ever seen so many amazing outdoor fabrics. Um, I think there must be, there's new technology now which allows um, indoor fabric to just literally be coated and used to outdoor. Um, and, and every fabric house in within the design center has a, a fabulous new offering of outdoor fabrics. Yes. Well, again, it's been um, over the last, um, few years I think you've noticed high performance fabrics coming through so high performance outdoor velvet for instance but it's really you know it's practical to have inside um, on a, a family sofa you know if you've got dogs or small children quite nice to have something that's that still looks and feels lovely but is eminently wipeable and cleanable Yes, and I can tell you from from a personal shopping perspective, we I have so many of my clients who who say, who ask me for exactly that. I've got children, I've got pets, you know, I've got to have something that I can wipe. What can I use? And you know, now we have a this this fabulous big collection of. Yeah, um, and it's it's just lovely that you don't have to uh, compromise on your style um, for your outdoor space, which is great. So Sure. Um, d pieces of note here: um, the outdoor sofa with the, with the blue and white striped fabric is. I love that. I yes. think from McKinnon and Harris, it's very um, sort of Napoleonic. I think in its style, it's just so chic, isn't it? With it's that blue white on the white frame. It really is. It's so chic, and I also love that that lamp. It's a heater. It's a heater. Wow. I'll sit under that. <laughs> we would need to in London at the moment. <laughs> That's a heater from Sutherland. And um, at the, the sofa top right, 
is also an, uh, a new piece uh, by Vincent van Doysen for Sutherland as well, with the rope size. It's just lovely. And that collection has been expanded to be modular. So really useful, whether you've got a big space or a small space. But again, I could, you know, if you had a big enough living room, I can see that being an indoor piece as well. Yeah, yeah. And then um, in terms of the fabrics that we've got there, two yeah. that I'm going to pull out. So we're talking about indoor, outdoor. So right in the center behind the lamp, the teal uh, trailage from Pierre Frey. Right. Uh, which also appears as a wall covering uh, in the uh, new season collections. So that's very exciting. And then, yeah. the, and then the leaf design, which is Manuel Canavas from Colfax, is, um, also appears as a wallpaper. That's uh, great. So actually, if you were really bold, um, you could do an entire room in the same fabric. Yeah. Wall coverings, cushions, sofas, curtains. But, but going back to lighting, it's quite interesting. The, um, another trend that's growing is for portable lighting. So lighting that you can plug into a USB point. And um, so do watch out, uh, anyone who's coming, for the set light from Collier Webb. Um, which is, is a design that they've had for a while, but they've produced it powder-coated now, portable. So you could take it outside if you're going to be out late into the evening. Oh, how, I mean, you know, that, that's just, a, in some ways, it's a genius um, thing to do, isn't it? Because these lights with cords all the time, to have something, and I know they're not the only ones that are doing it. You know, I've seen um, Holly Webb have beautiful ones, Porta Romano, um, have also got beautiful ones. Paolo Machina also have beautiful, beautiful um, portable lights. I think it's a real, or even, you know, yeah, for an outdoor table or even for an indoor table. Yeah. To be able to just put something beautiful right in the middle of your table, I think is, is fantastic. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's move on to, um, oh my, the last one that we're going to talk about, which again is, uh, you know, I'm, it, it's so interesting how we have um, evolved during COVID. Um, so what we're going to talk about next is our bathroom. Um, and, you know, whilst the kitchen used to be the favourite room in the house, I would say that the bathroom now is the most important because it's where we start and end every day. And it's the place where we need to be relaxed. Again, you're, you're going to talk us through some of these um, the amazing things that you've chosen to put on this, this scheme. But um, it is interesting, isn't it, how important our bathroom is now as an extra room and not as a room with lots of cold, hard surfaces. Yes, well, for several months, you know, no one's been able to go to a spa. Um, and it's just nice to have a room you know, to make it feel like another room in the house or decorate it like a room. It doesn't have to be cold, hard surfaces. It doesn't have to be all white. Um, so this is a very soft and um, feminine palette. I, I feel it's, it's slightly, it's got a sort of a uh, 70s feel to it with, um, with the colours. And um, I just love the um, central fabric, Manuel Canavas again. Um, it, the, the colour is just joyful and that really started the scheme. I had to use that fabric somewhere. Yes. Oh, it, it, yeah, the colouring of it is absolutely beautiful. I love it as well. Yeah. And it's, it's sort of like a tree of life design, isn't it? It is. So that's a, it's a really old uh, style of design. It features in, in many cultures um, uh, and has done for millennia, I think. But it's uh, it's just a lovely, lovely interpretation in kind of bold Indian sort of style colours of orange and uh, and deep pinks. Yeah, beautiful. And 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 I have to say, my favourite wall covering on this is the is your rattan grass cloth. Yes. So I mean, again, we were talking about natural textures earlier. Um, and this is this is an interpretation of it. Um, it would be worth um, uh, viewers going to, to Arte, where they've actually got a rattan, a woven rattan that's paper backed uh, in two colours that you could put on the wall. But this this one um, from Tissue de Laine just comes in the most fantastic array of ice cream and sorbet shades. It's just beautiful. 
No good. We'll have to definitely have a look at that. And then you've got a, um, a wonderful, and again, I'd love people to see this in the flesh at Circa Light, at, at Circa Lighting across the road. Um, that amazing wall sconce, which just looks like ropes and ropes and ropes of brass that have been twisted around those conical shaped, um, um, you know, glass beacons. I think it's, I, I love it. It's, yeah, so the Nipton waste is just delightful, I think, on that, that reeded ground, which then reflects the texture in the, in the um, grass cloth wallpaper as well. It's just fabulous. So elegant, so feminine. It, it, and they, and they do, I think they do that in different finishes as well. So in brass and they, I think they do it in a darker bronze and, but it's just, and, and, and I have to say, I think it's really reasonably priced. Um, that, in my job, I don't have to worry about that. And personal shopping I needs. Choose the things that look nice. Yeah, yeah, lucky you. But again, I mean, speaking of the cost of things as well, I think, um, you know, it, a bathroom is not only, you know, amazing for the people who live in there, but it, it, it also is a return on your investment. So it's it's like, put, you know, people who buy new places, they want, you know, it's the kitchens and the bathrooms that often, you know, are the... Sell a house. Yeah, that sell the house, that close the deal. Um, so anything else on there, um, Arabella, that you think you'd Should love to... Should we talk about the return of the coloured bath? Oh gosh, yes, let's. Uh, so this is from VNA, and it's a uh, collaboration that they've done with Wallpaper Magazine. And this bath, the colour for this bath, is inspired by sand dunes um, and uh, and the desert colours of the desert. And, uh, there we go, travelling again. Um, it, it's just it's so refreshing. I think. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Um, and I think that draw that brings us to a, an end of, well, actually, for, for anyone that um, would like to see more, there is a lot more, but um, that's all we've got time to talk about today. Um, Arabella is doing some really amazing installations in the Avenue during London Design Week. Um, so I hope that everyone pops over and has a little look at, at, at those because they will also feature um, lots of um, lots of the new seasons um, patterns and, and furniture and lighting and everything that we have to offer here um, and and also do pop over to to see us in the personal shopping pop up um, in the meantime Arabella thank you so much for talking us through that it's a pleasure as always great and um, I look forward to running through this with you again for focus great <laughs> thanks everyone for watching Bye-bye.